Peters, and I work at Classic Tattoo in Richmond, Virginia. I like American traditional stuff the best, probably. Um, I like getting Japanese tattoos personally, um, but I mostly do traditional stuff. I like doing lettering a lot, also in black and gray. I think there isn't really an ideal client. Any client, I appreciate no matter what, you know, um, whether they want something that is specifically from me and custom or whether they want something that just comes off a wall or they bring something in. I'm pretty stoked to be tattooing in general, so I wouldn't say that there's an ideal. From the get, um, I learned how to tattoo from Elio Espana, who was an old New York guy, um, and he was probably always the most inspiring person to me because he's the kind of tattooer who do anything across the board. Um, he's like great at Japanese stuff, great at American traditional stuff. Um, you know, he's been tattooing for forever and has always done everything. And he was always a huge inspiration to me. That he's the most inspiring person to me. There's a couple people I think are really underrated. Um, Chris Magnati, who I've done a lot of conventions with, is an unbelievable tattooer and I think um, he started to get a lot of recognition for his skill which has been awesome um, and where is he at he works at New York adorned and da Vinci now oh, okay. um, Sean Topper also who I've done conventions with works uh, at da Vinci with Chris he's also an incredible tattooer um, Regino Gonzalez who works at invisible is so good this stuff is so beautiful and really inspiring to look at. Um, I'm still a, <laughs> I'm still a young tattooer myself, but uh, I think it's important to really pay your dues. Um, I think it's important to not worry so much about the internet and social media networking. I think that's changed tattooing a lot. Um, you know, I haven't been tattooing for that long. I haven't been working in the industry for nearly as long as most other people, but. Um, I started just before the internet became a real thing and just before TV became a real thing. So I think it's important not to get caught up in that sort of stuff. I think a lot of younger tattooers do. Um, and it's like you have to just put your head down and really, really earn what, you know, all tattooers are so lucky to have. Um, I think there's a huge growth of younger tattooers who are putting out really quality work. Um, you know, people that have been tattooing for the same time as me or less time. Um, and it's really nice to see that there are people who have been working really hard and um, have been putting out really, really amazing stuff. There's this girl, Mina Aoki, who was the apprentice under um, Michelle from Daredevil. And she's only been tattooing for two at the most and her tattoos are so beautiful and she really you know went through a real apprenticeship and really worked hard and really put her head down and was super humble and she has a good attitude and it's really nice to see um, really quality stuff coming out from younger tattooers. So I, don't know, I think that it's important to have a respect for the industry you know I think it's important to have a good attitude and to support your peers and to respect your elders and, um, you know, just like keep the industry alive, be productive and know your history and put out quality stuff and not be a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> and how are you? I don't know. I hope I, I, hope I am um, in some way. I just, you know, try to keep progressing as a tattooer and you know I get really excited when people ask me to be part of part of different projects. Um, Jesse Gordon just put out that 11, 14, 11 by 14 book um, which he asked me to do and I was really honored and really excited. It's an incredible book and everybody that's in it is so good and I feel like doing projects like that just keeps people motivated like going in a really positive way.